Street League is a great party for the fans. They get to come meet uh, the Dime Squad, as we call them, the Monster Girls. Uh, but uh, the safety from that 110 plus heat is inside here. The wonderful air conditioning of the Jobbing.com Arena. Skate fans fired up for the line section. Break it down, Felix. Now here in the line section, these guys are gonna have to make two tricks. If they don't make both tricks, they will not be judged. And we have this gap here where you can either choose a gap over the entire patch into the bank or just slide across that double-sided wall, which then now fires them at this bump to rail, bump to flat, bump over the rail onto the deck, or just choose the double set path, which you really have to land your first trick perfect to be able to maintain enough speed to clear that double set. I just love the options. It just brings out so much creativity. And remember, friends, as uh, you take a look at our start list, you see Paul Rodriguez, Billy Marks, Tommy Sandoval, Shane O'Neill, followed by Ryan Sheckler, Luan Oliveira, Chris Cole, and Nigel Houston. Remember, now we go cumulative. In the tech section, it was best trick. Now, the skaters can add up five makes in a row. This is where we start racking up points. Each attempt critical. And one of the reasons why these guys went so hard here in the best trick section because they appear now in reverse order in the line section. It's a bit of an advantage to see what line the other skater's doing and what you have to do for your line to kind of combat that line. Billy Marks opens it up with a people grind. Goes big right out the gate with the kick flip over that double set. Billy Marks not an extremely strong line section skater. He usually averages about an eight. It's a pretty decent start off line for him. He gets a 3.7. And coming in hot, Tommy Sandoval, who we just found out, Tommy Sandoval is in the final. He will be joining us on August 28th in New Jersey by making it through the tech session. So congratulations to Tommy and who starts things right off with a nice make. Continue skating so well. Congratulations, securing the spot in New Jersey. Clean lip slide and a few grind popped out. Now Shane O'Neill comes in with a nolly flip into the bank. Ooh, and it looked like it was a backside Smith grind attempt. Slid out to board slide and he lost control there, jumped off. But once again, unfaded. Never seen much of an expression from Shane. As someone who's really been expressing himself, Ryan Sheckler starts off at the front side blind slide. Thanks to our DC cam, we're riding along with him right there in a backside Smith grind afterwards. Ryan is looking so strong out here. Kid is in focus mode. And remember, there's only been three skaters who've won this event before. Uh, Ryan Sheckler, not one of them. He would like a win. As well as young Luan Oliveira in his first final, who said he has the ability, clearly has the tools. Yep, he's moving along comfortably. Look at him, just playing over that double set. Quick two pushes and a 360 flip right over it. Luan being so young is one of the skateboarders with the most control I've ever seen. It's incredible amount of time he spent on his board. He gets a 6.4 for that line. Remember, we'll be dropping another two skaters as Chris Cole starts things off with a big kick flip. Hey! Now Chris Cole made that big gap look so small, he kicked up there so effortlessly. And that backside lip slide fake, he could get really critical. If it sticks on him, he slides through it really smooth. He gets a 5.4 for that. Good line. Nigel Houston is one of our strongest line skaters. Averages about a 27 every event. And now you see why. And the DC cam giving you that nice perspective. The monster winning formula for the line section, consistency becomes a factor now that we have cumulative scores. A combination of two tricks yielding the highest scores. Not playing it safe on the second obstacle. The judges do not want to see you play it safe. They will penalize you hard for that. Yeah, they really want to see a strong line, something that you know we may see in a video. Now Paul Rodriguez, Paul Rodriguez. Who, who missed his first trick on his first attempt. That's just not something we're used to. Man. And a go-to trick for Paul, Nolly Trigger Grind. But sometimes what happens is, you know, the stuff isn't just wax right, it's a little sticky. The skater before you may have taken some of the wax off. But Paul's line right there is really smooth. Good way to start it off after a bail. 5.6 for Paul Rodriguez, who, uh, like a 
few other skaters that come from California, brought out the whole family, his wife and young daughter here with him. And Billy Marks now on course. It's a nice little trip out here to the desert. Ooh, see, that's a factor I was talking about. Sometimes a little less wax than you wanted, sometimes a little more wax than you wanted. To be able to negotiate that in the middle of the slide is really, really the game here. Second attempt for Tommy Sandoval. I, I wonder if he knows that uh, he's going to the final as he came off a little nose heavy. I don't know if Tommy can compute that much information that quick. <laughs> That's a lot of information right now. Thanks to our instant scoring experience here at the ISX, we have up-to-date information throughout the entire event. Someone should tell Tommy, though, might change his, uh, <laughs> his headspace in the event. Yeah, hey, buddy, you're going to Jersey. Relax. Shane with a clean line that he missed before. Perfect backside Smith right over the double set. What is it with Shane where you just don't see much expression? It's when he's out there in business, he's all good. You know what's funny is on Twitter, he does a bunch of, he always, always Twitter YouTube videos, so he has a sense of humor. He likes jokes. Just not in the office. Hey, hey. Wow, Ryan. Uh, Frontside feeble grind, that's, that's an 80 out. That's a pretty big drop right there, and a gutsy move in an event. That's this gonna caliber. be a score. 6.7. For Ryan Sheckler, you know, one of the elite members of the Nine Club. Yep. Ryan was made for Street League because he really takes those risks and he gets the big reward. Some of the highest scores in the history of Street League. He sits on a 9.8. Here comes Chris Cole. Big one side, one side to start things off. Getting that nice follow camp perspective. I get the feeling of like a truck or a train or something just steadily moving forward, picking up momentum, getting more aggressive, looking stronger. Like Chris's skating style is just so powerful. Well, when you stand next to him, you like you see a big dude. Yeah, definitely one of the Spartans, skateboard Spartans. And the senior member of the squad at 28 years old, compared to Nigel Houston at 16. Oh, effortless backside lip slide to fake. He looked like he was asleep. 5-5 five, five for Houston. Sheckler is our leader right now. Things get heated here with our three more attempts. Accumulating scores. Who's going to get the 150 grand? They don't want to give it to Nigel again. Mm -mm.